Hey guys, happy Saturday. So, you know it's Saturdays, it's dental class. So today we are doing, sorry y'all. So today we're doing first impressions, no, not first impressions, <laughs> making impressions on teeth. So, um, you know, the first part of the class we do like book work. Um, and then the second part is most, most, more so, people are crazy <laughs> more so um clinicals so i'm going to be of course bring you guys so you can see the clinical part of class and see us make some impressions we're going to be making impressions on ourselves and doing the impressions too so yeah that's what we have today in class. And of course, like I said, you guys get to come along with the clinicals. My teacher don't mind us recording. She's cool with that. Just not during the book work part. And y'all, listen, dental class at a fast pace like this is no joke. <laughs> I mean, I'm more so, I don't know, you know, I learn more so as a hands-on person versus just it being taught to me like through the book. So... The first part of class is, you know, book, book work, and it's hard for me to, like, really grasp that. So, I'm more so, if you teach, show me something, let me do it, then I got it. I don't know if y'all like that, but that's more so me. I'm more of a hands-on. Let me get my hands in. Let me get my hands working. I got it if I got my hands working. But you just teaching it to me? I mean, I get it if I review a couple of times, but... Like I said, hands-on, I got it just like that. So, the book work part is kind of hard, but, um, well, I ain't going to say hard. It's really time-consuming. You would say that. It's really time-consuming. But, so, how y'all like my hair? This is day two. Well, I got it done yesterday. You guys going to see that video, too. <laughs> but, yes, this is my starter locks. I think they did pretty good. I think she did pretty good in starting them. I'm excited about this journey. But yeah, guys, so I just went on lunch, picked up, I came to food and I picked up something quick. Um, then when I go back, it's clinical time. So of course, like I said, I'm gonna pick y'all up during clinical time so y'all can see us behind the scenes doing our impressions. And that'll be it for the day. Then it'd be time for me to go. Woo. All right, guys, so I'll pick you back up, like I said, and see you then. Um, especially dudes, um, they really don't care. They just want you to do it and get it done so they can leave. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is put your patient on, Miss Cornelia. And we are taking an impression today of your upper teeth, okay? Um, and we're going to make a um, night guard for you. I'm going to make an occlusal guard for you. So you've got your bowl right here, your rubber bowl that bends. You've got a spatula, and these particular spatulas can be autoclave, which is great. Not all of them can. Um, and here I have my powder and my water measure, all right? Um, I've got my spatula to condense and scoop off the excess. So what's the first thing that I need to do with this patient? Bring her up. So the rest her head on the hair rest? Oh, okay. it's So, um, Miss Cornelia, when we take this impression, if you'll just keep your head back for me, um, that will help us both out a whole lot. So, in the video, you notice that the instructor was taking an impression from the side, okay? That works for her. What I want you guys to do is always take your impressions from the back of the patient. And the reason why is this. When you're first learning, you need to be able to see the teeth, you need to be able to see the midline, and this is your best vantage point right here, okay? 
I can pull her lips and her cheeks up. I can see the lower midline. I can see the upper midline. Now I'm going to, I'm, I need to know, does this patient have wisdom teeth, right? Mm -hmm. That's going to help me to decide an approximate tray size, approximately. All right, so the first thing I want to do, Miss Cornelia, is look in your mouth. And she has um, molars on each side, but she does not have, open for me real wide. She does not have wisdom teeth. Okay, so I am gonna guess, open for me again. I'm gonna guess that she needs a medium tray. All right, I could be wrong, but I'm gonna guess that she is gonna use a medium tray. I'm gonna reach over, I'm gonna grab this tray. I did not touch anything else on the tray. And I'm gonna take the medium upper and I'm gonna try it in her mouth first, all right? So this is the tray that I think will fit you best. I'm just gonna try it in before I put any material in it, okay? All right, so open wide, and you'll also notice she, just like with the, um, the red holders and the sensors, remember I told you not to go straight in, but to kind of scoop it into the patient's mouth? You're gonna do the same thing with the tray. So I'm going to kind of come from one side using my finger to pull back her cheek, come in from one side and just kind of swing it in like that. If I try to open for me, if I try to go in like this, boom, it's not going to go in. Um, so, you know, you're always thinking you want to be, make this as comfortable for the patient as possible. So I'm going to start, scoop it in like that. And then I'm going to pull her lip back and I'm going to feel does, do I have some wiggle room? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. Um, can I look in the very back and feel with my fingers that this tray is covering her most terminal molars, the very back? Yes, I can. Okay, so I got a lucky guess. Um, this is the right size tray for her. Also, the reason I want you to take it from the back is you can see the divot in this tray can you see, Brittany, I'd like for you to come around um, where you can see just a little bit better. Um, you can see exactly where her midline is. Line it up with the divot. Use your fingers to pull her lip back, and boom, there you go. All right? Okay, thank you very much. You did great with that, good, doesn't it? Okay, it does the exact same thing. This is called a mixing tip. As I pull this trigger, the base and the catalyst are going to start coming out into this mixing tip and it's going to mix as it swirls through this mixing tip okay so in here we've got a base and a catalyst they need to be activated the way they're activated is by expressing through this mixing tip now i have got the heavy body i need an assistant who wants to be my assistant any takers Okay, Brittany. Um, so you're going to want to put on a pair of gloves. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, and you're going to load this tray. <laughs> you're going to load, you're going to have the tray in your hand and not yet. And you're going to load the tray top and bottom. Okay. No. no. You're, we're going to do this simultaneously. Okay. All right. So while I'm expressing this material, the light body, onto tooth number 19, you're gonna be loading the tray. We've got about probably 30 to 45 seconds of time to get all of that done. And I can flip it on the right. Yes, okay. okay. Like so what I would suggest you do is that you hold your tray so that you can start at one end and then just zigzag back and forth. Okay. Flip it over. Do the same thing, starting at one end, zigzag back and forth, okay? Um, you're going to be shocked at how much strength it takes to actually express that, okay? Um, but while you're doing that, number 19 is prepared for a crown, we're imagining. So I'm going to I'm gonna put material on number 19. Can everybody see? All right, so 19 is right here. All right, so are you ready? Yep. All right, we're going. You start and I'm gonna start 
putting material around number 19. And the dentist is basically just going to cover that tooth. You see that? <clears throat> Keep going. More. Okay. Very good. And Cornelia, I need for you to close straight down on that tray and hold. Okay. Always make sure that your patient knows that you want them to stay closed and stay still. If you just let that set up, it'll just peel right off. Um, okay, so the unfortunate thing is this material takes three to four minutes to set up. Mm -hmm. And like I said, it can be the longest three to four minutes for the patient. Um, if you get the sense that they are just, they don't wanna talk, just leave them alone. <laughs> or this can be a good time to say, um, a little small talk, but you're the only person that can talk, right? So don't ask them any questions. <laughs> Just um, because this is set, does it necessarily mean it, that the light body inside of it is set? No. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. I don't really know. So that's why we use a timer, okay? Um, all right. So for the sake of time, I'm going to have you go ahead and open. Perfect. And close. And there you go. All right. That's exactly what your final impression is going to look like for a crown. Except for the tooth is going to be prepared. It's not. It looks really good. Um, now, I'm going to start mixing in water. And when you do this, I want you to turn your water on just no harder than that. Okay. A little bit of water goes a long way with stone. Okay, so I'm just going to start off. Yeah, my like the yes, <laughs> yes. All right, so a little bit of water. I'm going to just keep going until I, I can incorporate all of this powder and it all get wet. Okay, now do you think this is too thick or too thin or right on the money? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little, little, a little tap The more water. that I, but look, the more that I stir, yeah, the creamier yeah, it's yeah. getting. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay? So, yeah. Yeah, so like mix it. Butter. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? I like my mix to be a little bit thicker okay. uh, because I like to build. Okay, okay. Um, so I'm going to go with this, just like it is. Turn my water off. The next thing I'm going to do is turn this vibrator on. And I'm going to turn it just a little bit higher than um, medium. I'm going to set my bowl down. I'm going to tilt it so you guys can see. And I want you to look at how those air bubbles start floating to the top. Okay? You can rotate it. And when you feel like most of the air bubbles have popped, did she say get in there with your spatula? No, she said don't do it. Don't that. do yeah. it because it can incorporate more air. Okay, so those are pretty good, just like that. Now, I'm gonna take my impression and I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna take just a little bit of material. I'm gonna tilt it just like this. And I'm gonna let it run. Letting this machine run it, around. yeah, put uh -huh. it in the right place. Let's do a little bit more. All the way to the back. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, now I can turn this off. And then I'm gonna start building. And the way I want you to build is scoop it just like you would the alginate on the tray. And then I want you to kind of just barely get it in place, but it's gonna settle on its own. I'm gonna get some more material, do the other side. 
Oh, sorry. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um, a little more material. But I want to build this thing with a base. So I'm going to put more material. I'm sorry, I'm getting everywhere. Uh, uh, are you okay, Miss Baby? That's what we got scrubs for. That's right. <laughs> All right. So I've got a pretty good base. And let me show you a trick. I'm going to take this and I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put it just like that. And guess what is going to happen? I don't have to trim the back now because oh. it's already going to be flat. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. And now we just leave it alone and let it set up. Okay. All right. You get it? No. Let me work on it some more. I need to put some on too. Yeah, I need some here. Let me put the gloves on. I'm gonna get some too. I don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, it's deep. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, Jesus. And you gotta do this to everyone. How often do y'all do these, though? Miss Sandy. Um, it depends on the what what you're doing them for. And it, a lot of times, uh, if you're in an office that has an Itera, um, you can do, do the Itera instead of doing this. <laughs> this part back here is what's hold, it's locking it up. So that's why it's important if you put that piece of paper in there. And I learned that from a lab man way back in the 70s. Wow. He came to our office and he gave me that tip. I want to pull it out because it seems like it can come out. Uh-oh. Be gentle. Well, y'all, that concludes class for today. Um, we just finished up. It's about five. My watch died. So five ten. I'm tired, y'all. Tired. So that is it for us. Um, I'm getting ready to go home now. I'm exhausted. So, um, if anybody that's looking or anybody that is interested in the dental program that I'm doing. The dental program I'm doing is in different states. So if you're not in North Carolina and you want to just get information about it, just comment below. I don't mind um, giving the name of the program that I'm taking. It's a 10 week course. And if you already took a dental class or you already took a dental type program, comment below and give me some tips. Let me know. I'm like, you know. But that's it, y'all. Thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to like, of course, comment, and subscribe. So we're going to be having more dental series, more dental information. We're going to have all type of videos, y'all. All right, thanks for watching.